Hello, welcome to another stream with Titania. It's just Titania's world right now in modern. Right now, we're just living in it. This new version of Titania has some real, real top tier memes. Number one, Heartless Summoning, of course. Uh, number two, the Gitruk monster. Nice little synergy with Titania, right? You sack your lands, you get a 5 3 alongside your, the cards that you draw. Uh, uh, pretty good, pretty good. We, of course, have the Dryad nonsense going to with those Valakids. Um, Cursor of Crucifix, Stylus Tracker, and Revenant Activator are ways for us to accrue value and topping up the curve. A homeboy. Our boy Primeval Titan. We got some pretty funny memes in this list. We have a couple of coffers plus um, Urborg. So that's kind of cute. So your your Titan can get a bunch of mana. I don't know what we're going to be using that mana for. Like, I guess to, I guess to crack clues, but um, that's something that we have available and then you know just some basics some duels a bunch of fetch lands because we want to make sure that we can trigger titania and the gitrock monsters for that matter and then like some some a couple of not that many utility lands like radium fountain um nurturing peatland ghost quarter and butchuke bog uh, it's a big deal that uh, both yabimaya and urborg allow you to tap your lands for mana without having to crack them um, so that's a that's a pretty cool, uh, neat interaction that you can have, so you can get extra value from both Gitro and Titania, and to a lesser extent, even a Corsair or Crufix, because um, you can either shuffle the top of your deck. As far as the Stabber goes, removal, discard, more removal, removal for Heliod specifically, Leon the Linden, think of the follow, Necromancia against combo, Rex Age, because Rex Age, Tileless Tracker, because, you know, extra extra value. And uh, Gargs and Force round up the 15. Of course, the sideboard is kind of whatever. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the list that we're playing here today. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you there for round number one. Hello, welcome to round number one. This hand's probably not going to make it, huh? Okay. This one I likey. This one I likey. Oh, I should have I should have bought on the the extra explorer. I think. Well, there's a summer pack I just bought on. So, there we go. Everything's fixed. Are we playing against the Sue deck? Yeah, we are. Ugh, that's such a brutal top deck. That's such a brutal top. Do it. I think I just have to explore here. Because I, I don't have a guaranteed land drop for next turn. And now next turn I can summoning plus explore. Then we can prime time into try it. I guess we got a plan. Another Kabu. <laughs> Does win trading even matter in MTGO? Uh, it it hap it is a big problem in standard. Win trading is a problem in standard because there's like there's nobody in the queue. So they did have multiple times where you know vex with just like a bunch of lands like 60 six, 60 basic lands uh would would just 50 because you know they would get get paired against their body and then one would drop then the other one would drop but obviously in modern there's there's just no such thing because there's like 1400 people playing right But these standard queues have like 150 people or something like that. Um, that's hella awkward. 
I mean, this trample, so. I think I'm gonna be one turn too late. I think I'm gonna be exactly one turn too late. Which sucks. Well, actually, no. Oh wow, yeah, I can just pack for Dryad, and then I can just uh, I can just dry it into Titan immediately. The problem is that the Dryad is gonna be an X three. It's gonna be an X3, which is a big, big problem because my opponent just bolted. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I feel like we would have won if we had been on the play, but we were on the draw, so we lost. Always feels bad when that happens. So pushes seem good. Tracker is kind of a hilarious way to answer the thing, but I don't think I care about Tracker. I think Gargroth is gonna do the job better. Diamond app can go. Let's do something like this. <laughs> okay. So we can go turn one tomb, turn two heartless summoning, turn three trophy, whatever they play. And then we can pack for prime time. We can even do the Urbor coffers trick, which is hilarious, but it just doesn't do anything, so we're probably not gonna do that. <laughs> um, yeah, that sucks because we can't lift that thing and tap. Dude, fuck that guy. First time playing against this card. I haven't seen it too much. Just ramped my opponent. Oh, this card is just so bad. Such an awful card. Such an awful card. Wild neck cattle. Tarmal Goifo. If I draw land, I guess I can't win. I'm one minute short of, I'm two damage short of winning. F. Ha, got him. Would like to pack for Primeval Titan, please and thank you. What are you thinking, opponent? Star on denial? Okay. Um, so I guess we do this now.
Tribal Flames? Fuck. Oh, they don't have it! <laughs> they don't have a swamp! They don't have a swamp! Four, five, six, seven. I'm just taking it. Yeah, I'm not blocking. Yeah, take three. Attack for five. Wow, that's such a sick punt from my opponent. Such an insane mistake. Boom. Go. Um, kind of want to gain three life. And we kill them next turn. Back team for Dryad. Obviously, they're going to have something else here, right? But this is fine. Like, I'm fine trading two for one with my opponent's entire turn. Definitely fine trading two for one. Now my opponent doesn't have a bolt anymore. So my, my Dryad is safe. Um... Actually, what do I want to do here? Tracker is kind of great. Because Dryad doesn't kill. Tracker draws me two cards. But I'm one minute short of killing with Dryad. I could Titania to make two four five eh, four twos. I could also prime time, but prime time doesn't find me another thing. We have the push to kill the Goy, so I'm not afraid of that. I think I'm just going for another Gargaroth. Just go for another big Gargs. Cabal Coffers look so bad in this deck. But I just couldn't resist the meme. I just could not resist the meme. It was too much. Um, I do, I do think that I want another business spell. I think I'm gonna go with another trophy. Ugh. On the draw. Can't do that on the draw. Okay. So this gives me the option, if my opponent plays something very good, I can trophy. If they don't, I can just play my land. So Draco. Draco seems fine. I'm going to explore. Nice. So if I find fetch land would be awesome, like an, any untapped land would be amazing. Okay, double Draco is not as fine anymore. Land please. 
Sick. Definitely going for the Dryad. And the opponent knows that they have to kill this thing. Tribal Flames. Garks blocks the Draco, which is nice. So if I really need to, I can go squad on myself to push something. Also with Revolt enabled for what's worth. So that probably won't matter. But I'm definitely blocking and drawing a card. I'm not gonna strip mine. Even if it is strip mine, it just doesn't matter. Like I'd rather just save the ghost quarter for when I draw a gate rock monster at the tiny. Like my my entire deck is built around this like synergies with cards like this. Like it's such a waste to just like hope that we strip mine them. Just a bad play. Trample vigilance. That's so freaking sexy. Wow. I think I have to draw a card here. And I'm gonna go squat on myself. Unless I find a triad, I guess. Oh no, totally missed that interaction. How could I miss that interaction? God damn it. They could have stub. That sucks, but like it's still better than nothing, obviously. Better than losing the garter off. Ah, it wouldn't even have been strip mine. Bog you. Hmm. It's a lot of stuff. It's a very good draw. So we can make this into nothing. What if my opponent throws everything in front of the, the gargs? Then we don't have good place yeah so I'm just going to just gonna do this and I think I killed a Kavu I mean I guess I can just do this if I attack, I think we attack. Draw a card. Ding. And obviously this is far and away the best possible case scenario. This probably just wins the game. Kind 
of feels like my opponent should have should have thrown the the dude into the mix. <laughs> Attack, point in double blocks. Creature, creature, yeah, that doesn't work. So I guess if I if I want to attack, I have to do it right. I have to play the Titan first. I don't think I want to attack, however. I think that we just chill. Thank you for the follow P Lee one. So I'm definitely going to beat land and I guess a fetch. And then we set up for Titania next turn. Because we get to we get to cycle, then we get to play Titania. Get back to cycle land. So funny how my dudes are just larger than my opponent's dudes. So convenient. <laughs> That's cool. I also have more dudes. Uh, my dudes do more things than my opponent's dudes do. GG's! See you for the next one. Welcome to our number two. Getting paired against the Brazilian monster, Batrachinia. Keeping this hand, I think. Turn two, explore. Maybe we can do stuff. Kind of feels like we may be getting rolled, o rolled over though. Particularly the draw. Oof. Yeah, we're getting rolled over. We are indeed getting rolled over. <laughs> That's funny. When is MH2 released in paper? No idea. What you say is the benefit of this deck versus your traditional amulet deck. They get different decks, but their their matchups this deck can take that amulet would struggle with. Uh, it's mostly for the fun of it, but um, what it has is that it uh, it fights against Blood Moon a lot better. I think amulet is just really bad against Blood Moon. Wish Gitro was four mana. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just think we're gonna die here. <laughs> Nitro would be a lot more playable at four mana. <laughs> this card is ridiculous. I don't think we can beat this deck, realistically speaking. I was brewing something similar to this, but without Shadow. This is what I was thinking of. Uh, I haven't figured out the sideboard, but like something like this. Uh, I just couldn't get my hands on the cards that I need, so I have not been able to play it just yet, but definitely excited about trying that one out. Pushes, trophies, garbrots. Oh, the grindy cards can go. Kamala Coffers, as always, get cybered it out. <laughs> Cause it's just terrible. Um, I guess Ragavan gets blocked by Gracer. Like, it's not great, but it's Grazer. Mm. 
spoil World Fortune. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't want to buy the cars. Like, I, I don't want to buy cars that are going to... In fact, I did open a Void Walker, and I just sold it. Because it's like 30 tickets right now. Like, I have Mana Traders, but Mana Traders still ha doesn't have access to all of the cards. I did get the Ignoble Hierarchs from the deck that I played right before from Mana Traders, so I guess some of the cards are, are available already. But the, the hardest one to get, the hardest ones to get are still very much not available, so makes things super awkward when trying to, to stream new decks. Yeah, some of the cards are available, but the, the ones that are most in demand are not. So like Ragavan is not available. Um, like Ursa Saga is not available. Like all the busted cards are, are not available yet. Which is what's what's kind of annoying. It depends on the cards that you're looking for. And it's not like they're completely unavailable. They are sometimes unavailable. Okay. Don't have a hand anymore. Good draw. Good draw. Uh, bad draw. Bad draw. <laughs> um, I'm just going to play out both of these. Pass the turn. Hmm. If we draw a Titan, this allows me to cast the Titan. If we draw a Titania, this allows me to cast the Titania this turn. I cut the Gitrox. I think I'm doing this. If we draw Titania, we're in this, but we didn't, so we're not in this. Uh, it's, tough. it's tough out here. It sure is tough out here. So they have another, yeah. Titania, well, I guess Titania doesn't even work anymore. Titania doesn't even work because of the Void Walker. Try it. I guess right also doesn't do anything. Yeah, we just we just whiffed for way too long. That's really unfortunate. Just whiffed for way too long. Alright, see you for the next run. Alright, welcome to round number three. Not a good opener, obviously. Carving a soul, thank you for the follow. Sure, let's keep this hand. It's kind of awkward. Uh, yeah, we're dead. We are dead. 
There's the whim of hope. The gracer has grazed us with his presence. Can the grazer do it? Can we leave the dream? Block. Both of those Turok deck needs Lily. Uh, not necessarily. This one probably. This one probably, yes. Uh, but I think that uh, the other one does not. I don't think you want to play Liana here. Because this card is just way too powerful. <clears throat> Hello, Maori. Block. Yes, Gracer. Um, we probably have to do that so we can Titania next turn. Yikes. Okay, so let's spend this turn killing the Eidolon. And then I can Courser. Hopefully gain some life. And then we can Titania on the following turn. Yeah, Courser is pretty solid here. Again, punished for playing this stupid card instead of Fatal Push, right? Punished for playing Trophy, because now my opponent gets one more spell. They don't play it, though. Okay, Courser. Land. Life. Please don't kill me. If we do on tap, I think we're going to be in a... K shape, probably. Like, I'm, I'm definitely blocking. This is close, though. Rift Ball suspended. Okay. Lava Spike. Yep, just have to. So my opponent was just leveling me there. Respect. Okay, life. Five three. Oh no, I really need to find a land there. That sucks. We're probably dead now, because my opponent they didn't do anything on instep, right? And they didn't hit their land drop either, so it just means that I'm dead. I guess I was dead regardless. You know, follow the parted suite. <laughs> mm. 
What else? Another trophy. There's an argument for Force of Vigor. I think I like Force better. Uh, because it kills Eidolon without costing me life, and it also blows up um, the other thing. Roiling Vortex. <clears throat> Being on the Dragon's Burn, though. Always a problem. That's four times I connected you at Titania on the table. Looks like you like it. Yes. Yes, I do. Big fan, big fan of this one. Right here. Shooting yourself in the foot at the beginning of the <laughs> of the league, probably not not the most smart idea I've ever had. You order your Titanias, nice Shauna. Yeah, Titania is not getting banned. Like you can safely order your Titanias. You can safely order your Titanias. No problems at all with that card. Yeah, I know about it about Suranor, but the problem with Suranor is that it's a terrible card. <laughs> it's just a really bad card. So, like, you need to figure out a way to make it not a bad card because just by itself, it's very, very bad. Your other saga still will they cost 15 bucks? Yeah. That seems like a reasonable price to pay for them. But yeah, like the, the price right now is just unreasonable. So I'm probably not gonna buy them. Unless I don't know, they just don't ban it before a big event or something like that. There's gonna be Ugh. I have to. Um, there's gonna be like the invitational that I qualified for So maybe I need to I need the sagas to play there if they don't buy if they don't ban them by that time I think I'm just gonna lose here, right? I'm at nine right now The SEG Invitational. The last tournament that I played was SEG Regionals, and I top aided. And if you top aided Regionals, you get you'd get invited to the Invitational. It's coming back. I don't know, but I hope it is. I do hope that it's coming back. Yes, my opponent over sideboarded. Awesome. If this had been a burn spell, we probably had no no chance whatsoever to win this game. But fortunately for me, my opponent hooked me up a little bit. And they brought in path to exile from their sideboard. I'm probably still dead though, but yeah, with that play, I am certainly still dead. <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah, I don't think that we could, we could ever, ever, ever in a million years beat burn. <laughs> See you for the next round. Okay, round number four. Not looking great. Probably gonna keep it only because we're playing against the Lurus deck. So probably my hand is not gonna matter because <laughs> it's gonna get completely shredded to pieces. So it's fine. Okay. 
Ok. Ok. Dread Horde. Would be awesome to find a green source. Would be very, very cool to find a green source. Ha! Ha ha! Uh, fuck me. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, they can they can get profane tutor with this. That's neat. It's pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna get back inquisition here. Please inquiry again so I can fix my situation. <laughs> no, no. Okay, Yabimaya off the top, one time. Yabimaya off the top, one time, chat. That's all we need. Yabimaya off the top. Boom, let's go. Yabimaya, right here. Boom. Oh. Damn it, he did an inquiry. So close. So close. Probably gonna have one more draw step and then I'm gonna pack it. That's just rubbing it in. That is just rubbing it in my face. Gracers out. The good thing about having Cabal Coffers in the deck is that it's a very, very easy cut for every single matchup. <laughs> um. We're just cutting triads here. No, probably not. Just do that. It's a hilarious take that my opponent's playing. Man, I was so hyped about uh, Titania's hammer, and now I'm kind of a little bit down on this <laughs> on this brew. Ugh. I call first in Titan Tron now. Please, please give me a land, please. Thank you. 
thank you. Thank you. Karoxa. Yeah, it's time for the Gargs. It's Garg O'Clock. It's Garg O'Clock. Let's go. There's no way they have many options in terms of removal for Gargaroth. Don't dread bore me, okay. Profane tutor is fine. Like to attack, please. Like to draw a card, please. Hey, <laughs> hey, Yep. 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 Here's Titania. Can I get my fetch line, please? Just gonna make 10 more power on the red step. Nice profane tutor. I think what happened here is my opponent may have gotten a little bit cocky. <laughs> <clears throat> they may have thought that they had more time available to them than they actually did. Yep. Liliana's caress and waste knot. We're supposed to be looking at force of vigor. There's no way, right? Could see yet another trophy, however. Prime time seems like it's just not, it's just gonna be way too awkward. Like it's a sick top deck, but it seems like it's just gonna be a very awkward draw the vast majority of the time. Just ignore whatever opponent does and just do your thing. Yeah, that, I don't think that's how magic works. <laughs> some decks work, work like that. I guess some matchups work like that, but... Two options. <clears throat> Probably the Dryad's gonna bite it. I think I'm gonna lead on Burden Catacombs so I can go fetch my duel. Surgical? Yes! Yes! Love to see it! You love to see it. So my opponent just. I, I basically thought seized my opponent for free. I basically just thought seized my opponent for free. Which is obviously very, very good for me. Ha. Huh. Well. TikTok.
strategies. Kind of smells like GG's to me. Don't do this. <laughs> I strongly advise against this. Strongly advise against this. It's just not a good plan. It's just not a good plan at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice crocs. Uh. Um, let's play this, play that, swing eight. It's lethal next turn. <laughs> nice crocs, uh, mana. Wow, we went there. Sweet. Let's see who that's from. Another Lurus deck. Um, can't keep that hand though. Can't keep this one though. Probably ship the Peatland. I mean, my mods don't do anything, right? So I have to do my mods work and I have to do also the streamer work. If, oh, if only I had reasonable mods, then everything would be fine because mods would be taking care of the of the of the uh, predictions you know if only i had good mods if only i had good mods that could set up a prediction for me someday when i grow up i'm gonna have good mods i know it How is Grazer the pick there? How is Grazer the pick? Like, do they have another discard spell? Is that what's going on? But even if you have another discard spell, you're supposed to take Explore and then the Summoner Respect. Just don't want shit bags. Um, fetch for a forest. I'm gonna explore. Let's bounce bog. Now that my opponent has played a goy fall. I guess that having drawn the prime time, I should have. I should have just played Hollow Summon. I mean, it doesn't really change anything, actually, because, yeah, it just doesn't change anything. It's the same. Dude, this card fucks, man. Am I just dead? Yeah, I'm just dead. Ragavan just casually got in there for two extra points of damage, which made this two power greater, which makes it lethal this coming turn. And it's going to be coming back again next turn. So I'm just dead, just straight up dead. God damn it, man, a stupid monkey. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Now it makes sense. Like now that they know I know that they're Ragavan deck, now the Arboreal Gracer pick makes a lot more sense. That is why they went for the Gracer. 
was because of monkey reason. We could have explored for Grazer. I'm over it. <laughs> Necromancia named Ragaman, yeah, exactly. I mean, we saw how good Surgical was for my opponent in the previous in the previous match, right? So, if it worked for them, why wouldn't it work for me? Ugh. Probably have to balak it here first. Push is nice for sure, but I think it's gonna get thoughts you, so yep. Pie pie push. Hardly knew you. Hardly knew you. Land. Land. Oh, uh, I I I, sa I said frog instead of land, so that's why oh, I'm sorry, deck. It's it's my bad, deck. I'm sorry. On my explore, land. God. Well, I guess my opponent's in the same situation that I am, at least. At evens the playing field. Uh, I'm not gonna play this Dryad because it's very likely my opponent has a dismember over there. So I'm just gonna chill, and I'm not gonna play anything until what I play is a freaking gate truck monster. I'm just gonna keep playing this this game. So this is be me basically just casting a free thought seize there. That's it. Forest. Um Do I wanna play Titania here? Hmm. I think I want a frog, because my opponent is not gonna have an answer to the frog. Pony can't kill the frog. Frog's unkillable. Can't even touch this frog. Upkeep. Está duro ese hitro. Durísimo, mira lo que. Está sacado. Um... So I can go summoning into. I think I'm just going to cast Titania. Because I could have gone summoning into Titania and Dryad, but like that exposes that exposes my lands to it exposes my threats to to be killed. Did I call? Didn't I call the dismember? Didn't I call the dismember like five turns ago? Didn't I call that this member like five turns ago? This is not just for holding hats, chat. This is not just for hat holding.
interface. Pull your face. Frog. Frog. In fact, I would even say Frog you, opponent. Frog you. Sh sure. Can't pass on the frog, can't we? Can't pass on that frog value. Dead. That shit's dead. Out of here. Okay, some life. Explore some explorers. Reset to gain some more life down the line. We don't have a lance in the bin, which is kind of annoying for Titania. I'm glad we fixed that. Thank you, deck. Kind of annoying because now my opponent's gonna be able to hold up this member for Titania, so I guess I'm gonna have to go the frog route again. Forgot that you get to play extra lands with the frog, man. I totally forgot that you get to play extra lands. Frog is sick! Frog is sick! Such a good frog. Such a good frog. Don't thoughts is me. <laughs> That's cute. All right. <laughs> That's cute, that gives them mana. <laughs> I mean, that's one TBR that they don't have access to now, though. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna play my land first so I can play Titania. We can get back our land. But if my opponent has a removal for Titania, at least I get a 5-3 for my troubles. Because we get to cycle in response. Now I think we just chill here. We have two removal spells in hand. Sure. I'm gonna hold on to this fetch line in case I find another Titania or a tracker or something like that. I guess I cut the trackers, right? 
Yeah, I got the truckers. You can kill that, so that's fine. Maybe we could just run them out of gas. Not gonna be taking any unnecessary damage. Maybe I should have waited until it blocks. It's fine. Uh, not gonna play that, I don't think. Do I play this though? Probably not. Because this is lethal with Riot. I think my opponent has removal though. We have Summoner's Pacts, we have Corsair Crufix gives us Shuffles, Frog, I guess the Frog's gone. Damn it. Uh, um, one of the Titanias is gone. It was exiled to the to the monkey. Hey, Magus, how's it going? Did you know that this is now a Snorlax friendly stream? This is officially a Snorlax friendly stream. I don't know if you were. I don't know if you were aware of that. All Snorlax are welcome. Is that more salvage more than legal? Yes, yes, it is. Get this hugging amateur. I'm a fine hugger. Try it, please. So if we find Dryad, we win through removal because we have double fetch. If we find Pact, obviously the same thing applies. Yep, there we go. Whee! Three and two, baby. Boy, how I love to three two with shitty decks. There's something so beautifully special about three and two, and with such a beautiful pile of hot garbage. Garbage! Let's cut these stupid cabal coffers. It was, it was cute while it lasted. Let's let's get it out of here. Um, we we'll probably want some pushes in the main deck. I'm starting to feel like. This is better than John. Yeah, the good thing is that we can always, you know, we can always con count on on some John player to, you know, help us by making our decks look better than they actually are. Yeah, this is fine. This is this is probably better. Average team thing with the follow. Um, I think this deck is obviously very bad, but I think it's hilarious, and I'm probably going to be playing it every now and then. <laughs> HD is thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome back for the third month. Really appreciate it. Oh, I have to... Alright, who had faith? Who had faith? Faithful folks, believers, rejoice! Rejoice on the 3-2 greatness. Should 
Should we play more frogs in this deck? Like, frog is kind of sick. Frog is kind of insane. This list is probably a lot better than what I just played. <laughs> like, a lot better. Did I like the stasis on Monday before you played in the prelim? Um, I didn't play against any prowess, and when I didn't play against any prowess or Renan sexes, then Stacy was great. I think that you want to have at least a couple, a couple of um, gracers in the sideboard, though. At least two or three. I was playing one in the main and two in the sideboard, I think. He's so soft, man. I don't, I don't know why. Like, it's just great. His belly is, is just full. It's full belly. Reclaimer might be a nice fit in the deck. No, Reclaimer without Flagstones is not a card. It's not a modern power level card. Assuming if Dark Morgitro was a work of interaction in modern, someone would already be doing it. Um, I think it's cute, but like it just. Nah. You could potentially like Loam, I guess. Loam plus Gitrog, but drumming up plus Gitrog is just more efficient and it works with your creature plan. I like Thick Bellies. Yeah, of course I do. Who doesn't? Is there anything else that I could would want to change? It's just this card is just so bad in the main deck, right? Just, just not a good card. It's not a good card. Um, this is cool though. I'm happy that we managed to at least steal a nice little three and two, get my money back for my troubles, and we got a four and one with with Hammer of Titania or Titania's Hammer, or however you want to call it. So like that has me pretty psyched up. Like this, this deck is. It's just everything that I want to be doing in old school, except brought to the, the 21st century. I guess that it was already 21st century, but like the year 2021. So um, this is just like a, <laughs> a, a, a very cool thing to, to be doing in, in modern that I have not really seen anybody anybody do. Also, Mitra's Factory was kind of sick. But um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. That's gonna be it for this, for this uh, leak. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you like Snorlax, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video, folks. Bye-bye.